keep saying to myself that I'm going to watch more anime movies. It's something that I, I do generally enjoy. I, I very rarely discover one that I don't like at all. And I keep discovering different types of movies that, probably down to my own uh, bias, kind of assumed that they didn't really touch. One of those movies was Perfect Blue, which I got the Steelbook edition of. Um, and this is a, an animated psychological thriller. Now, I checked out the trailer for this and that kind of won me over. Just the look in the idea of the story nothing fantastical about this just a story about a young girl called Mimi <clears throat> who's part of a trio um, pop idols that aren't really too successful you know they've obviously been putting a lot of work into it but it's not really paying off for them she has an opportunity to go and kind of change careers become an actress and that's something that you know kind of sparks a lot of interest in her so our lead character Mimi decides that that's what she's going to do and leaves the band a lot of people are, are kind of unhappy about that. One person in particular starts sending her threatening letters about what she's doing and uh, calling her a traitor and, and things like that. And initially to start off with, Mimi isn't too successful in the acting world. She has a small part in a small show and um, it's just one line and she's expecting more but nothing really comes of it immediately. Uh, her band members are starting to become successful now that she's left and starting to, to sort of reap the rewards of all the hard work. And she discovers that there's a website dedicated to her, um, pretty much like her diary. And she keeps going there and notices that there is a hell of a lot of information about her life being leaked on this daily, as if it was her writing it. Somebody is so closely paying attention to her that they know her most intimate thoughts and details and posting it online. And things start to get weirder throughout the movie and a lot of the surprises I want to leave for you to discover yourself because it feels as if this really needs to be discovered and this was an amazing movie, absolutely amazing and at a slight 81 minutes I think it is or just over 80 minutes, it is a taut thriller that keeps you on the edge of the seat balancing both the psychological aspects of the story along with the drama of the tale. You know, have, you've got this sort of young character who is trying her best to do uh, something artistic and is constantly being pulled and, and pushed by various uh, facets in her life. She has, you know, a deep-seated sort of regret of what she has done to her band members and obviously, like, you know, is this the right career choice that she's made? She's asked to do risky stuff and she kind of goes along with it, although she's not 100% comfortable, but it's a kind of break free from that pop idol aesthetic that she once had to hold so dearly. We get other characters round about her, um, talk to her a lot, but it's more about the, the sort of loneliness, um, the, the mental play that comes into to action here as she starts to wonder about her life choices and about this site and starts to focus on the wrong things and feel that she's in danger because, rightfully, somebody is watching her and playing psychological games with her. Now, the best way I heard this described was a Hitchcockian movie done in anime form. And I feel that that's perfect. It really does describe the movie. The animation um, is very lifelike. It, it doesn't try to be too flamboyant, too fantastical. It is very true to life, so true to the characters. This is a very character-rich story. And it's not about any sort of fantastical elements. And I found that rather refreshing. You know, you get a story that's just... It could have been filmed live action. It could be done shot for shot live action and still be as compelling as it is. You forget after a while that you're watching an animated movie and it just becomes about the characters and about the story, which is one of the best things I could say about this. You know, it surpasses anything that I've seen recently in this kind of format because it grabbed me. I was really into the character of Mimi. I, I was really into the, the sort of situation she gets into. There's one scene where... She has a, a, another part to play in a show. Um, it's about a character that gets raped. She has to go through this rather uh, lewd and lascivious behaviour in front of like a, a large crew. And it's really sort of breaking down the image that she once had. And it, it doesn't sort of shy away from showing you the, the sort of crazy nature of making this. You know, where they, they start to uh, uh, attack her. And then they kind of cut, stop. Everybody has to stay in position. They have a... A little apologetic, oh, I'm really sorry about this, it's a tough scene. And the awkwardness of just kind of being in that position as the camera's changed set up and then go again. And, and the sort of real emotion and, and, and wailing that comes out in that scene because 
she is kind of losing the innocence that she once had from that pop idol aesthetic while doing this really horrific scene um, that's, that's very challenging, very different and is going to permanently change her image and it affects some of the people that work around about her as well who are kind of shocked by this uh, performance that she gives which is excellent it's, there's so many good moments uh, in the movie one of the things that I, I really latched onto that I really enjoyed was a kind of psychological element near the end uh, as Mimi starts to talk to a certain character um, and I don't really want to see too much more than that but I found that fascinating that kind of sort of inner battle inner turmoil really came out in the scenes and if you haven't seen this movie if anime is not your thing you don't need to worry this is a terrific thriller on its own right an absolutely fantastic movie that is gripping from start to finish it is truly a masterpiece of movie making i'm really surprised that this hasn't been turned into a, a live action feature as yet because of all the other things that are are adapted this is just a terrific story more than anything and that's that's what really drives the movie forward i'd love to know your opinion if you've seen perfect blue what you thought of it um I'm sure you probably loved it as well. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't heard of it before, check this one out. It's a truly fantastic movie. Well worth checking out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.